subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. Using full XPath in Selenium with C Sharp can be helpful in certain scenarios, though it is generally recommended to use relative XPath whenever possible for better maintainability. However, there are cases where using full XPath might be necessary. Here's a tutorial on how to use full XPath in Selenium with C Sharp. Ensure you have Selenium web driver installed in your C Sharp project. You can do this by installing the selenium.web driver and selenium.web driver.chrome driver new get packages. Create a new C Sharp class for your Selenium tests. For this tutorial, let's call it Selenium full XPath example.cs. In the test using full XPath method, let's navigate to a sample website. For example, we'll use the Google homepage. Now, Let's interact with an element on the page using full XPath. For demonstration, we'll interact with the Google search input box. Using full XPath can be powerful, but it's important to be cautious as it can make your tests more brittle. If the structure of the web page changes, your XPath may break. Whenever possible, prefer using relative XPath or other locators provided by Selenium. That's it. You can build upon this example to create more complex tests using full XPath in Selenium with C Sharp. Chat GPT. Certainly. Using full XPath in Selenium with C Sharp can be necessary when other strategies like relative XPath or CSS selectors don't provide a unique and reliable way to locate elements on a web page. Full XPath is the absolute path of the element from the root of the document, and it's less recommended due to its sensitivity to changes in the document structure. Here's a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use Full XPath in Selenium with C Sharp. Make sure you have a Selenium project set up with the necessary dependencies. You can use NuGet Package Manager to install the Selenium.Web Driver and Selenium.Web Driver.Chrome Driver packages. Create a new class for your Selenium test and import the required namespaces. Set up the Chrome Driver and navigate to the desired web page. Inspect the web page using browser developer tools to find the full XPath of the element you want to interact with. Right-click on the element in the Elements panel and choose Copy Copy XPath. Now that you have the element, you can interact with it as needed. Compile and run your Selenium test to verify that it interacts with the web page using the full XPath. Remember that using full XPath is less recommended due to its sensitivity to changes in the document structure. It's preferable to use other strategies like relative XPath or CSS selectors when possible. ChatGPT